Hello guys, Scotty Senior here, back again with another one. I'm sure you're thinking, is this the only damn track you drive on? Well, it's not the only one. However, it is one of my favourites. This, all, all these races, or all these videos that you've seen, it's just been all replays that I've saved on them. <clears throat> I didn't even think I'd, I'd done that many of them, but... Yes, but do have different videos at some point I'm sure we're just getting rid of all these ones from a, a lot of weeks ago starting this one in 10th if you've watched the last few videos you'll have already known the strategy it's a 10 lapper medium tires and soft tires available tagged in the way in the first corner there a threat nav losing that slipstream straight away that's two McLaren's behind us too starting on the mediums That sector was very, very hard in the first lap on, on the cold medium tyres. The car just never really wanted to stick. It was always a struggle to get a nice line through there. <clears throat> and as usual, we shall go with a skip. As and when McLaren was those McLarens coming back at us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. We were lucky there. Let's keep an eye on that and we'll keep watching backwards the whole time. We got away with it there. Almost taken out. My goodness, that is a long way back. That man's came from a long way back. Mr. N Mr. Nappy Sack on these knees. Dove all over that shit like a dog on a piece of meat. Good penalty, Mr. Tresmo. Well done. Good to see that he didn't just get away there with nothing at all. A well deserved penalty. TTR Nappy Sack was for sure not sorry for that he accepted that too for the price of one sale a horrible missed time of the break and however it didn't affect us we're still in the top 10 and in the queue and nice big queue right up to maybe fifth is that seven six fifth yes i think that's bring us right up to fifth and a nice wee bit of gap now on the ass area and the pressure released Three wide there at one point. Where to go, where to go. I am Fusa. In this one also. Was there anything to be had? Oh, breathe in, breathe in. A two for the price of one seal. That could turn into a three for the price of one seal. My goodness. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate for us. That was almost a fantastic wee section there. If that had it worked out for us and we had it got all three passes done there that would have been a great wee section just that last wee wee twitch of the back end has dropped us back down and our, we find ourselves on the outside now so we could drop down more one spot then made for us an exciting wee section though ninth precision lap two mr fuja in front of us, I think he had a small contact with him. No harm done, but side to side action between King Ears. Uh, King Ears is in the wrong spot at the moment. If that or guy wants it, he does. He eventually lifts off and filters in. Again, small wee nudges between the cars, but everyone driving. I've been very impressed with the driving. Looking back at all these replays that I'm sitting here, it's actually the same day we've been sitting here now for about two and a half or three hours trying to get caught up a bit on these replays so we'll have stuff to post on the days that we're not able to get on. We've made our way in the 8th position, Mr. Fuza still in the house, the Irishman 250 deck is out front in this one, but there looks like there's a pretty badass bunch of them up at the front there as well. There must be four of them. There is indeed, the top four is all still able to win this one. And if they get into too much of a battle, all of a sudden it will be the top nine that's still able to win it. 
lap three we'll stay on board because it's very close at the moment no chance skipping or going anywhere just yet who's out going defensive making sure we don't do anything silly up the inside of them missed a pack there for us needed to get the turn in much earlier but we're still there in the slipstream quick skip along the straight Mr. Fouza coming in on lap 3 on lap 3 and I'm a McLaren stayed out in front of us that's good for us and they were only doing 3 laps then on that and we got a bit lucky there we weren't left out on our own as we no harm done no harm done slowed herself herself down didn't do any harm to him but that was quite lucky for us as well lap four i think this is the lap that we have been pitting on in the last couple of videos that i've watched Be interesting to see how Fuza goes here. If he gets much of a jump on us, on how much will he struggle towards the end? As well, again, we were very greedy on the way out of that one. I slow down with a rub up against the wall. Still in the slipstream, but and it's a McLaren. It's given us that slipstream. No idea why I took that line. Maybe just not wanting to close up on him too much. Casey starts going a bit defensive. And if this is the same as all the other races, we will be peeling off into the pits on this lap as we come around. We'll find out here how will come out compared to Mr. Fusa if we do indeed jump in this lap and the McLaren comes in with us as well which is good so we'll still have a slipstream whenever we come back out at least from him and we'll have a quick skip out we'll come where is Fusa? there's Fusa so you can see the the one lap jump and he's got there it was a bit of a a second and a half maybe you can able to make there however I will as tired good feeling by lap 9 and 10 rubber bandit also 17th for season 18th for season Mr. Bandit as well behind us so we've dropped right down with the long pit stops and the McLaren squeezes us up onto the grass there a wee bit rude no need for a squeeze so tight and hopefully yeah we're trying to give the slipstream night a bond yeah he's trying to squeeze bond as well look at that is not too driving he's, is he punted him yeah that's good let's go back and actually watch that again back further a tad And they're just moving over to encourage us side to side. Oh my goodness, they're both at it, they're both at it. Thank goodness that they, they left me out of it. And there we go. Thank goodness that we spell is over and done we on with a wee skip now. As people starting to come in to the pits, where do we jump up to? At the moment we are in the top 10 and Fusa is the car in front of us. We punch of them again, we'll go for a wee skip and try and get ourselves up into the action. Oh dear, that's not how you get yourself up into the action Stephen, that's how you increase pressure on the ass area. Lap number 6. 
almost a skip. These guys are having a great wee battle, which in which indicates to us really that these guys are faster than ourselves. The fact that we're struggling to hang on to them at the same time as these guys having a race. Oh, oh, what happened to King Ears there? I'm not sure what happened to King Ears there. If that was a bit of lag, I, th I think perhaps he's lagged out of that one. Keep an eye on King Ears. Yeah, right there, that looks like it's lagged out. Yeah, he's lagged out. For sure. Back up. <clears throat> In the eighth. Another we skip as and when we can. Lap seven. Come to a close. And we have accepted our invitation to the party. And it is a top six. A super GT party. Oh, and again. Someone else. Goes off and then it reappears in front of us again. My goodness, that must have been a strange one for us. One more look at that there. What exactly happened there? Yeah, it looks like Mr. Ears was lagging out, but then reappeared back in front of us. Hopefully, nothing is going to affect any of the racing. No glitches or anything like that. As lap 7, or lap 7, not lap. Lap 7 coming to a close. Once again, we shall have the skip as and when we can. And there's there's a top 5 right in front of us. Lovely races on this track, as always. It's just a beautiful track to race on. Encourages side to side action absolutely everywhere as we get a sexy bit of side to side action on King Ears' left hand side and we're still in a bit of slipstream a quick skip on was there a lunge or anything for us or we were still hoping for a top 5 The lure's getting all a bit tight, it's all getting a bit tight. McLaren probably struggling a tad with his tire wear now, but still ridiculous speed on a straight line. No sense is really even trying to pass him there because he just drives straight back past us again. In the very next straight. If he has any kind of slipstream there himself. He should be starting to close in on them and once again another we skip as and when we can. Lap nine, running out of time to try and make any moves. King Ears still right there with us. Again, not going for a move or anything. Still, a part of me will be hoping that Fusa in fifth place is about to start having a couple of passes. We pass here and there, and again, we nudge him in the back to let him know that we do want to have a race with him right now. I'm sure he's very happy that we're driving like that. He will still be thinking to himself, great. A top five is still on. A quick look behind us. And ears is dropping back just a tad. So the pressure has been released. Coming around to start the last lap of the race. Surely if there's a pass available now we will be wanting that stuff. We made friends with him and we've had enough. There's no more making friends sir. Could we drive from your slipstream into another one? No again we went a bit deep. Did he get a cut back on us? No, he didn't. But it looks like we've now decided that it was time to race for this precision. Still more could be available, but not from us, really. We need those guys. Those guys need to get into it and throw it away and hand it to us on a plate. The best we can do is P7 without any help. Fuzzy going a bit wet again with Mr. Pocket still there. He wasn't indeed still there. We should 
do our job properly and send the man to the outside, which we do. Surely we can't let him drive around the outside of us. That car is terrible on its brakes. And that was defended quite easily in the end. Although, get no, don't let him have a nose. Ha! Ah, he's got a nose on us. He's got us. He's got us. If he wants to leave it there, he's got us. There's nothing we can do. We'll have to back out of it. Although we are close, we are close enough for full sand and full sand. He didn't protect that inside line and the full sand was sent. So we stole it back on him again after losing it. Another interesting fun race. Fusa and the other guy look like they're having a bit of fun as well. Catches in the next one guys as the McLaren comes back. Does he steal it off us? No, he almost gets it off us but not quite, catches in the next one